Well, we have thousands of people all over the world that have done this sugar fast with us. It started out in our church and our small congregation of about six, 600, 650 people, and it actually grew. It actually grew to thousands. I mean, people have been contacting me in the UK, people in Nigeria, people in South Africa, people, a lot of people in Canada, a lot of people in Australia, and they're under the probably the most severe of attacks. Even people in Asia, overseas, have been contacting me um, that have done this 30 day fast with me, uh, with our church and with our fellowship and with EX Ministries, uh, the sugar fast. So we went 30 days without sugar. Hopefully, you were able to make it. And uh, you wasn't like Ray in the bed, <laughs> convulsion, <laughs> uh, trying to kick. But um, I just thank God because, you know, one thing people don't realize is that sugar is, um, you know, it, it causes inflammation in your body. So it's never been good for you. Now, sugar in, you know, fr fr fruits and vegetables and different things, of course, your body does better with that. But don't think that you are doing good by juicing or drinking juice. Some people drink juice every morning and think that that, that is a substitute for vegetable, I mean, for their fruit intake or for, um, you know, something, they think that it's something healthy for them. And it's really not. Uh, understand that, you know, uh, your palate in your mouth is smart enough to uh, tell your body that you've had enough. That's why usually one apple, if you eat apple, you're fine. Nobody really eats two and three apples. No one really eats two or three, you know, oranges or grapefruits or whatever. You eat it and you're fine because the fibers in it, uh, you know, when you bite into it or whatever, uh, your palate recognizes that and it tells your body that that's enough. It's really telling your body that's enough sugar because to, to get a glass, an eight ounce glass of uh, apple juice, it takes like eight apples. You would not sit and eat eight apples worth of juice. So that's telling you that when you drink it, it bypasses your 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 palate and you end up taking in too much sugar. So you're taking in eight apples or eight oranges, 10 oranges or whatever of sugar. And that's way too much. So, you know, our world is just so corrupt that they don't care if they can make money off of it. They're going to sell it to you. But we have to be stewards, wise stewards of our bodies, especially going into this season. Let me tell you, y'all, uh, it's a cold and flu season, like always. You know, I know the media is hyping it up as something different and they're trying to say this and that or whatever. But we always have a cold and flu season. You've been sick before. You've caught a cold. You've caught the flu before. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people are will get sick because of mucus intake, which comes from a lot of dairy. Your body turns that dairy into mucus and you got all this mucus. And so it's easier for you to catch a cold that way or sugar inflammation in your body. Your body's fighting the sugar. So it weakens your immune system and you end up catching other things. So beware of these things. Be mindful of these things. I believe that the Lord laid this on my heart for the body of Christ. I believe, you know, the body of Christ as a whole, we have to be responsible with our bodies. We have to exercise. We have to take the time to care for our temples, y'all. Our temples, our bodies are the temples of the Holy Ghost, according to the word of God. So we got to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. So I wanted to come on the night before all uh, hell breaks loose <laughs> with these sugar folks because most of them have big plans for tomorrow where they, I mean, folks have already ordered cakes. <laughs> Folk going to eat wedding cakes and they're not even getting married, <laughs> but they want to go back on sugar tomorrow. So I wanted to come up and tell you, hey, you know, take it easy. Take it easy. You went 30 days. You don't need that much sugar and you need to be careful so that you can keep your immune system strong during these uncertain times of sickness and illness. Uh, look, we just got to do our part. God will do the rest, but we have to do our part. So I wanted to just encourage you. Thank you for fasting. I believe it was beneficial. So many wonderful things, so many wonderful testimonies that I've been getting, how God has just done amazing things in people's lives, delivered people from uh, 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 sins and bondage and 
devils and demons and all kinds of stuff. People that have struggled with things for many, many years have been set free just because they took the time to take something that was pleasurable away from their bodies and they, you know, they found God in its place. So uh, I just want to encourage you, keep going, um, you know, in moderation, bring sugar back into your life if you must. But don't forget to take care of yourselves. Don't forget that this could be the beginning of you really being concerned about your temple. It's your responsibility, not society's, not the government's. It's no one's responsibility to take care of our health but ours. So you have to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. And I promise you that God will do the rest. God bless you, people.